Hey, what's going on everybody? So today is not going to be a very creative video, but I have this bandsaw from Grizzly. It's the 30th anniversary 17 inch one, and I've had it probably for about, I don't know, six years, and it's worked great. But the urethane rubber belt on the bottom pulley broke the other day or it, won't, or it got loose enough it won't stay on. So today we're gonna change, I'm gonna show you how to take this off and replace this since it now became a popular bandsaw for people to have. So if you're like me and you wanna see how it's done, keep watching. Okay everyone, so the first thing you want to do is unplug the machine, just in case you never know what's going to happen. And I use my Festool dust collector, whatever dust collector you got is fine obviously. And go ahead and clean the pulley and everything out since we're taking this apart, just to get a lot less dust. And I use the wrench that it had, that it came with, to loosen the motor mount, but it is so tight I couldn't get it to break free. So since this didn't work, I took the Allen wrench over to my metal saw and cut the bend out of it. Okay, so that sucker is pretty tight. So I cut this down because uh, I didn't, I guess I could have used a cheater bar, but I didn't have anything. So I cut this down. I put that in a 5 16 socket with my ratchet. And I've already broke it free, which was kind of tricky, but now it's free. So that's probably, hopefully that's the trickiest part of this whole operation. So now the motor is loose. Now that the mount is loose, I slide it up. I do tighten this back up just so it doesn't move while I'm doing everything else. I take another Allen wrench and I loosen the bolt that holds the pulley on and then slide the pulley off. Okay, now that we got the pulley off, uh, we're probably gonna clean it up a little bit. And I got the belt replacement from Grizzly. Uh, that way I just knew they were supposed, they were right. So urethane bandsaw tire for 17 inch bandsaws. It's the T23071 for this bandsaw. So if you read the instructions on the back of this, because this is so tight, we have to boil this in hot water. And then while it's warm, take it out and stretch it over it because it's you can't stretch it right now because it's not stretchy enough. We're gonna go to the house and cook this up. So I made sure I did this when the wife was not in the house and I found the largest pot that I could, filled it up about half full of water and turned the stove on high. So I brought all the water up to a boil first before I put the tire into it. And if you read the instructions, it says that we need to set a timer for 15 minutes. So I set it for 15 minutes just sit there and watch it boil for a while and then once the timer goes off I take it out using a some tongs and some gloves because it is hot when you first get it out later I do take these gloves off when I'm trying to attach it just because they were getting in the way so I put it on the bottom stand on it and stretch it up to the top and this was getting tricky so I got my wife to hold one end so that way it was not sliding off while I was putting it on so I slide it all the way around once I get it on, I just check it just to make sure it's not too tight in some areas and it looked good to me. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the belt on this part first. And on the smaller one is the faster speed. So we're gonna go ahead and slide. And there's a, there's a metal like bushing in here. You gotta like line it up and make it go through. There we go. Take the bolt with the washer, screw it back in, tighten it as tight as we can. So now that we got the pulley back on, we need to put the belt on the lower pulley. And I slide the motor down and then tighten it back up as tight as I can with my ratchet and the Allen wrench that I modified at the beginning of the video. Once this is on, I need to put the blade back on, so I go ahead and line it up on the top, put it on the pulley, then go back to the bottom and put the blade on the bottom pulley. And then I use the tensioner and tighten it up. 
So after it is tight, what I like to do is spin the top pulley around. That way I can make sure the blade is tracking and it's not going to fly off when you first turn the machine on. Because it's happened before and it's not fun. So I close up the top, then close up the bottom. Now I put the power back to it to see if it's going to work. Fingers crossed. And I turn it on and just to cut, just to see if it's going to slide off. Because the reason before is the blade kept sliding off. That's how I knew. So I just cut a little bit of this piece of plywood and it's good to go. Okay, everybody. So that is how you change the rubber tire on your pulleys, on your bandsaw. Uh, I hope this video helps you. So again, this isn't like a cool video or a build project. But if you're like me and you're having to do maintenance on your equipment and it's the first time doing it and you need to see how it's done, now you have a video to look at, which is pretty easy. Uh, it does help if you have a second person or clamps or something when you put that on, because even though you bolt it and it is sh more stretchy, it's hard. Once you pull it, it wants to come off on one side. So I had my wife help me hold one part while I pulled the rest of it on there. So that made it a lot easier. So I do recommend that if you change it. But if you like this video and it helped you, please click that thumbs up button. Also. Share this video if you know anyone else that has this Grizzly bandsaw and I will have links down below uh, for the belt, if I can find links for the belt, and I will have for the Grizzly bandsaw. And um, so if you're interested in those, because I've, I've had this for six years and that's the only problem I had, had to change that. I think I'm going to have to change the top one soon, but we'll wait until it causes me problems. But if you like this video, click that thumbs up button. And and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. So thanks for watching guys. See y'all in the next one.